Hello and welcome to another anime lore and theory video and today I'm going to take a look at why Ein Sulgon has sealed off an entire floor of the Great Tomb of Nazarick and why it is so dangerous that he basically had to do it. But before we are going to take a closer look at any of this, let me quickly thank my Patreons for supporting this channel and say my thanks to all users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. And with that said, let's dive into the topic at hand. The 8th level of the Great Tomb of Nazarick was isolated from the rest of the tomb quite early in the story. Specifically, Ein Solgon ordered the teleportation path that leads from the 9th level directly to the 8th level to be changed and instead directly connected with the 7th level controlled by Demiurge. Now it is only possible to access the 8th level through a renewed connection of the levels by using Nazarick's transportation network, which is controlled by Aureol Omega, or by using one of Ein Solgon's 41 rings. So at the current time, the 8th floor is just as isolated as Nazarick's treasury. This is why Albedo, who had been given such a ring by Ein's in Volume 1, along with the other floor guardians, was still able to reach Rubedo, her younger sister, situated on the 8th level, and I quote from the volume 7 here, boot her up. This suggested that she was created through a world class item, specifically a caloric stone, which is the core of a golem. So basically she is an... some sort of automaton with a world class item as its basic core, as its driving force. However, um, I got a bit sidetracked here, all of this still raises the question of why the level is isolated. From what we know, the only similarly isolated location is the treasury vault of the Great Tomb, and it stores world class items and a whole bunch more of equipment and just regular items, and also vast quantities of gold. Therefore, it could only be reached through one of the 41 rings of Ein Sulgon. And anyone entering with these rings still equipped, whether equipped as in wearing it or just in their inventory, would eventually be attacked by golems, as soon as they entered the innermost sanctum of the mausoleum. It's a security measure, and also quite a nasty trap, which would not feel out of place in a secret dungeon in Dark Souls or Elden Ring. However, in the old world, the 8th level was still connected to the rest of the tomb. And it was where the invading force of the hostile guild alliance came to a halt. Which again raises the question why it was sealed off in the new world. And the reason seems to me that the level is extremely dangerous, housing the main military force of Nazarick, as well as the aforementioned mentioned strongest creatures in the entire tomb, Rubedo and the 8th floor hierarchy, which are some extremely powerful NPCs, tasked with keeping Albedo's younger sister Rubedo in check, in case of a malfunction. Eins even considered giving these NPCs a world class item to ensure they can restrain Rubedo. And if there's a group that needs to be restraining Rubedo, there's likely a risk that she might go berserk. And after the Great Tomb of Nazarick was transported to the New World, after it all became real, reviving defeated NPCs are no longer seen as repair costs that Eins and the Guild had to cover. Instead, it would be a tragedy that they have died in the first place. And for Ein Solgon it is nearly unthinkable that under some circumstances the children of his dear friends the NPCs, fight against one another. This is something he wanted to avoid at all cost. And therefore this is also one of the reasons why he refused help in the battle against Cheltier, instead of just overwhelming the bloody Valkyrie with as many as 10 or even 20 level 100 creatures. All of the Floor Guardians, Maris Dragons and Sebastian and other powerful NPCs among them. So, my theory is that Eins wanted to prevent Rubedo from escaping if things go truly south and also to prevent her from possibly reaching other floors where the inhabitants are much weaker 
such as the ninth floor specifically. Without world-class items, the Pleiades and Sebastian would likely have no chance against Rubedo. They would only be able to stall her and thus allow Eins to mobilize more troops and evacuate the level 1 Humunculi mates who are living on that floor. Additionally, it could just be that there are so many traps in place that trigger only if somebody comes near to them that the 8th floor is basically the only region of the entire Great Tomb of Nazarick, Ein Sulgon included, that exactly know how to move between these traps. Just like Shizu Delta just knows about the pathways to the innermost sanctum of the treasury vault, so other floor guardians and NPCs might be far less knowledgeable about any of this. So Eins possibly just wanted to protect people from other levels from accidentally wandering into these highly dangerous areas. But considering that Albedo's elder sister Nigredo predicted that Rubedo would bring a catastrophe to Nezuric, I think it has more to do with Rubedo than just traps or other environmental dangers. Especially when you consider that the seventh level is literally hell. Okay, and with that said, now it's your turn. Please let me know your thoughts and ideas about why the 8th floor is sealed off and of course about the video itself down in the comment section. And while you type, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to... Dash 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 Arda Daddy Arda ASK Bad Guy Ye Bad Burrito 316 Beza Ben C Brandon D Chrissy Crowley 0221 Sia Crystal Prime Dead Slime Death is Mercy Deathless Dragonlord Demon Xenomorph 1987 Devin Downen Ding Dong Dragonlord Placido Saxophone Duckwagon Dunkler Krieger Dystopia Dystopia the Second Enigmatic Unicorn Thiral Shivan Guy with that head Hector Moreno Hoss Huster Jacob G Jana B Jason J Morris Chromius Kyle R Lee K Long Legendarius Lelouch V Britannia with your mustache Lexus Fox Lord Nishiki and Rai Lord Touch Me Love Razor Merovec Mr Shoes Mr Tweaker Michael R, Michael Y, Nope, Oh Hell No, Normal Toad, Oh Kill, Overlord General Gasper, Paddy Pantom, Personage, Primus Eleven, Rhino Mir, Kyone Kerkos P, Shergox's Daddy, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Super Tier Magic Batista Bomb, Supreme Cheese, Staris, Ted, Texas Deer, the Orc War Boss, Rock Ed Smasher, T.E. Wang, The Shark Guy, Vegito 27, Venture Fanatic, Wilhelm, Zinukai, and Zonagon. Thanks, guys. Anyway, have a nice day, and I hope to see you all again soon under my next video.